Today we will be seeing the historic culture of Harappa civilization and Mohenjo-daro. Before we begin, please like and subscribe to our channel. Mohenjo-daro is a collection of mounds and ruins located in northern Sindh province, southern Pakistan, on the right bank of the Indus River. About 80 kilometers southwest of Sukkur, it is located on the Indus River's level alluvial plain. One of the two major centers of the ancient Indus civilization, circa 2500 to 1700 BCE, is still visible at the site, the other is Harappa, which is located 640 kilometers to the northwest in Pakistan's Punjab state. According to legend, Mohenjo named Daros means the Mound of the Dead. In 1922, the year Harappa was discovered, the site's significance as an archaeological site was first acknowledged. The mounds are home to the ruins of the greatest city the Indus civilization ever had, according to later investigations. Due to the city's size, about 5 kilometers in circumference, and the relative wealth of its monuments and their contents, it has always been thought of as the capital of a large state. However, it is unclear how it related to Harappa, including whether the two cities were rival centers or whether one city came after the other. In 1980, Mohenjo-daro received the UNESCO World Heritage designation. The city of Mohenjo-daro was laid out with remarkable regularity into about a dozen blocks, or islands, each measuring about 1,260 feet, 384 meters, from north to south and 750 feet, 228 meters, from east to west, and divided by straight or dog-legged lanes. The city is currently 3 kilometers from the Indus, from which it appears to have been protected, in antiquity as well as today, by artificial barriers. Using mud and mud brick, the center block on the western side was artificially raised to a commanding height of 20 to 40 feet, 6 to 12 meters, and it was reinforced to an unknown amount by square towers of baked brick. An exquisite bath or tank encircled by a veranda, a sizable residential building, a huge granary, and at least two aisled assembly halls were among the structures on the high top. It is obvious that the citadel, for that is what it was, carried the site's ceremonial and religious leadership. There were large courtyard buildings in the lower town, indicating a sizable middle class. Similar to how the streets were well equipped with sewers and sanitation, the majority of homes had modest bathrooms. Brick steps suggest a level, livable roof or at least an upper story. Mud plaster was likely applied to the walls at first to lessen the damaging effects of the salts that were contained in the bricks and reacted negatively to changes in temperature and humidity. There is no longer any evidence of elaborate architectural design, however it might have only included decayed timberwork. Stone sculpture is also hard to come by, but there are a few pieces that show the skillful head and shoulders of a bearded man with a low forehead, narrowed and somewhat supercilious eyes, a fillet around the brow, and a cloak with trefoils that were once filled with red paste across the left shoulder. A remarkable bronze depicting a young dancing girl who is otherwise naked except for several armlets is the most notable piece of figurative art from the city in terms of aesthetics. The most emotive terracotta sculptures among the countless others are the little yet ferocious bull and buffalo figures. Female figures may sport ornate headdresses, and occasionally, male or female miniatures of little, obese grotesques reveal what may have been a nasty sense of humor. The evidence implies that Mohenjo-daro saw severe floods of unusual depth and duration more than once, maybe also as a result of the Indus drainage being pawned back by tectonic uplifts between Mohenjo-daro and the sea in addition to the Indus's encroachment. According to this data, Mohenjo-daro may have been surpassed by Harappa, or at the very least outlasted it. Political System and Society the Indus state's social and political systems are still a matter of speculation despite mounting archaeological evidence. There may have been some social stratification at Mohenjo-daro based on the apparent craft specialization and regional craft groupings, as well as the stark differences in housing styles and sizes. With the provision of imported raw materials for use at internal manufacturing centers and the distribution of finished items throughout the area, trade was widespread and ostensibly well-regulated, possibly leading to the development of Harappan colonies in Mesopotamia and Badakhshan. The amazing consistency of weights and measures across the Indus regions, along with the construction of ostensibly municipal structures like the large granaries, suggests a high level of governmental and administrative control over a sizable region. Furthermore, the prevalence of inscriptions written in the Harappan script strongly suggests the adoption of a single common language.
However, it is unavoidable that significantly less is known about these characteristics of the Indus civilization than about contemporary Mesopotamia due to the lack of legible inscriptions. This concludes the video about Mohenjo-Daro. Do you want to visit Mohenjo-Daro? Tell us in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to and like our channel.